Hey, Randy Hunter here from BeginningSax.com and RandyHunterJazz.VHX.TV. Be sure to visit my websites and check out all of my jazz improv and beginning sax lessons. Now, in this greatest jazz saxophone blues motif um, video, we're going to go through a Frank Foster lick. Now, this is from a Count Basie tune called Splanky, and you can find the complete transcription of this solo online. I know uh, at least one or two guys have um, have posted the solo in YouTube videos, so it's, uh, it's a great solo, and it's just full of killer language. It's, it's only a couple of chorus is long so it's very playable so I hope you'll check those um, those transcriptions out maybe learn to play the whole solo now the the lick listen to it one more time <laughs> That's uh, such just a such a killer call and response. Very basic, very easy to play, and it'll be an easy one for you to learn. It's in the key of E flat on tenor saxophone. Of course, that's D flat concert, um, but you can learn to play it in any key you want. It's very easy. Um, but the thing about this tune, you know, the Basie Band, a lot of their tunes, particularly these blues tunes, and uh, the Basie Band was known for doing doing blues tunes. One of these tunes, or typically with these tunes. The motif, you'd have a motif that was organized in a call and response manner. And Splanky is certainly no exception. So the motif for, for Splanky, like the, the whole arrangement is really based around. You know, the brass players start out with that after Count Basie does his little intro. The brass players start out with that. They do that for a whole chorus, pretty much. And then uh, on the second chorus, the brass players play that again, and the saxophone players answer with the same lick in the holes. So it's, you know, it's like the brass, saxes, brass, saxes, etc. It just goes on and on. So you have to check out the entire arrangement and keep in mind as you're listening to it that it's call and response based on um, based on this little uh, you know this motif that I just played for you. Um, same thing here with uh, with Frank Foster solo and, and like I mentioned he does a couple of choruses just killer choruses very very down to earth language very down to earth vocabulary but he just it oozes with style and soul and so you know as you uh, as you listen to it as you learn to play this lick it's so much more than just playing the notes you know just swings um just the way the notes are played da, 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 da. you know just so cool now let's just uh check out real quick it's very very much a blues kind of lick it starts with the with the root and again we're on an e we're in playing an E-flat blues on tenor saxophone. So it starts on the root, and then it goes to what I'll call the blues third. Now the G-flat, we could think of that as a minor third. I've heard some folks identify it as a sharp nine. I just really think of it as a blues third. You know, it's right out of the blues scale. Now, a lot of times blues players will put the six in there. So he starts with the, with the root the the blues third back to the root a little triplet figure to the root and then to the six now if you're familiar with uh with the major blues scale you'll know that that six is in the major blues scale in fact the major blues scale is really just the same thing as the regular blues scale starting on the six of a of a key so that's the way i always learn the major blues scale but those notes are right out of the um, right out of the blues scale that starts on the six, or in other words, the major blues scale in the key of E flat. So, so we've got anyway, we've got the six and back to the root, to the two, to the blues third. So check out our motif one more time. This is our our initial call, and then he answers that with a restatement of. So we've got the root to the blues third to the root, 
to the blues third, back to the root, and then he does a little turn based on the seven. And you have to really listen in uh, to hear this turn because he really, again, with the style, it's just really kind of uh, sucked deep back into the into the music. <laughs> You know, and um, so he does the little turn from the seven to the root to the seven to the five. Da-ya-da. And then to the two of our key, to the five, to the six, to the flat seven. Yeah, and, uh, and I've got the hash marks there, the slashes in the written music, because Frank continues on at that point. But I thought, you know, I thought for our purposes in developing a call and response kind of motif that uh, that that has, you know, that has completion right there. So listen to the whole thing one more time. You know, what a great, what a great call and response motif that you could really learn in any key. It's just such a killer one. So take that one to the practice room and add it to your vocabulary. <laughs>